Hello and welcome to today's video where we're going to look at how to customize the home page of API Portal. My name is John and I'm the product owner for API Portal. So today we're going to look at the landing page or the home page for the portal and how you can uh, use the new configuration options introduced in the recent 2020 updates to uh, more easily change the look and feel of this in an upgrade safe way. But firstly, some terminology. You'll hear me talk about Joomla modules in this uh, demo tutorial. Modules are lightweight and flexible extensions used for page rendering, comparable to widgets for WordPress. These modules are often boxes assigned to positions in a web page. And positions, a module position is a placeholder in a template. They tell the Joomla application where to place output from modules assigned to a position. So don't get confused or caught up in the, in the jargon. Um, a module is basically like a Lego block, a building block of a page, and the position is where that building block is rendered into. Um, and the modules can, the same module can be rendered multiple different times on the same page with different output. But we'll cover modules and positions in a bit more detail in a future video, but for today, just know what they are. So the home page is broken down into several areas. So the banner area, the tiles beneath it, and the footer. And we're including the logo here as well. So for today's uh, demo, we're going to focus in on the banner. Now, skip over to my demo. So um, this is the Joomla admin interface. It's always on administrator, IP address administrator. So, and this is the control panel for the Joomla instance effectively. So we're logged in there and I have my Joomla instance over here. I'm not signed in, so I'm just uh, looking at the landing screen. So I'm gonna go over to extensions and modules. And I'm gonna find a module called the homepage banner. We see that the homepage banner is here and it's in position API home banner. So that's the position in the page where this module is loaded into. So if we want to customize this uh, banner to our own look and feel, we can use these options here. Um, and one choice that you have to make at the outset is you're more than welcome to customize the product module called homepage banner, or you can duplicate it and create a, a clone of it and customize that one instead. That way you leave the product module um, untouched and you can always revert back uh, a lot easier. So I would recommend that. And for this demo purpose, I'm just gonna use the product demo, the product module, homepage banner, And I'm gonna talk you through the options we have here for customization. So first off, we have the title, API portal, enter API portal, and the subtext explore and test our APIs. So you can change the text here and you can change the color of both of those texts. So I'm just gonna call this one, my developer portal. And start as a subtitle and we'll change the color to beautiful purple for both of them so let's save that and let's have a look at our changes here my developer portal let's start amazing okay explore button is this button here so you can show or hide it um if you can configure what it should say for guests who are unauthenticated. So right now it says sign in, I'm unauthenticated. Um, when you're authenticated, we will change the text to welcome, let's get started. So when I log in, it should change to that. So let's go to here and sign in. And I go to my homepage. Welcome, let's get started. Okay, cool. 
And again, you can change the color of that text if you want. Uh, you can also configure whether it has a background or not. Um, the default is to be a, have a transparent background. Um, and you can define the navigation where this button brings you. So for our guests, we, we're redirecting it to sign in by default. But if you're logged in, it'll bring you to the APIs tab. So if we click on this, we'll move to the APIs tab. And you can basically pick any of the menu options that are available here. Um, again, the button border color is pretty standard. The border radius. So at the moment, we've got this kind of curved feel going on. But if we make turn, turn that to, say, a value of five, we should get a more kind of a square look and feel. Yeah, OK. And then the background image. So we use this kind of abstract image, but you can choose your own. So you just go choose files, you upload your own like that. I did this a little earlier. So um, I'm going to pick the this blue uh, image. And I'm going to save that. And we should get a different background image now. OK. I'm going to set these purple guys back to white as well. OK. And you can just mess around with the alignment then. You can set it to left, center, or right hand side in terms of this body of text here. So we we'll leave it at center for the moment. Um, so there are just some basic kind of configuration options that you can use straight away in the Joomla admin interface. No coding skills required. Um, and that will get you some part of the way anyway, hopefully a lot further along than you would before you have to revert to any code changes. So um, that's kind of a basic overview of the, of the banner customizations. Now, if we were to recap, we looked at the product module, homepage banner, how we customize the banner image, the banner text, the font colors, the explore button, and the visibility, the positioning and the alignment of the UI components within the banner. As I mentioned earlier, customizations are upgrade safe because they're done via modules, so there's no loss of customizations as you upgrade, and the modules are responsive. So they play better on smaller screens and smaller form factors. Um, I'll point you to the docs, uh, docs.axway.com. Um, you have a section here as well. So I'll include the link in the, in the bio of the video as well. So you can look at a bit more detail there. So I think that's everything I wanted to cover. Um, I think that's everything I wanted to cover. Yeah. So I hope you found it useful. And any questions, leave a comment below. Thanks very much.